Hi Cancer, this is your April mid-month love reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So, we're gonna look into your energy first and then we'll be looking into the energy of your person and after that we'll be checking out the energy that binds the two of you together. So let's look into your energy first, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of April in love. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of April in love. Let's get one more shuffle. Two more shuffles. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. So you have past life relationship. And it's interesting because I have three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting the energy of someone from your past. If not from your past, maybe a past life. There may be an instant connection that you have with someone. Like can't explain it type of energy. Yeah, for some of you, you've definitely been in separation from someone for a while. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So you have the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups clarifying this past life relationship. So there's something about the home in regards to this person. Like some of you may move homes and it brings you closer to this person or something like that. Some of you may be moving back to your hometown and you may meet somebody there from your past who's all grown up now. Like this may have been somebody that you knew as a child um, and they might be all grown up now and you're in two different places now and like maybe it's easier for you guys to connect. But regardless, there's someone here, Cancer, that I think some of you have definitely met before either in the physical or in the non-physical dimension. Like for some of you, you may have had dreams about this person. Like I'm really seeing the vibe of somebody who consistently dreams about someone and then they meet them. There's this recognition like where the hell do I know you from? And, and for some of you, like, even if you haven't had dreams about this person, you may feel that way about them. It's kind of that vibe of, you know, I feel like I've met this person before. I swear to God, I recognize them from somewhere, even though I've never met them in my, my entire life. So there is some kind of deep, deep, deep rooted connection with an individual. Maybe it's another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Maybe it's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Maybe a Virgo. But I'm seeing somebody coming through and um, I'm just, I'm getting the energy of someone's essence. Like someone likes the way you smell. They're thinking about the way that you smell. They're thinking about the way that you feel. Very, very sensual energy. It's, it's very Taurian. You could be dealing with a Taurus. It's kind of like they're thinking about the way your hair feels in their fingers or what your body feels like. Oh my gosh, every single sign so far, I've done Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer, have all gotten this card. Every single one of them has gotten reconciliation. So I don't know what's happening, guys. There's something in the month of April a lot of people are coming back from the past. And if a past person is not what you want to hear, well, I'm sorry. That's what's coming up. I don't really know what to tell you. Um, I'm also picking up new love. Like I picked up, yeah, a lot of new love for the signs. But it, for you in particular, I don't know if it's very serious. Like if there is new love, it's not serious. It's just kind of like casual and fun. But from your past, there's definitely somebody who you have a deep connection with. And I really am getting the vibe that like this person is not necessarily like a past person that maybe you've dated before. For some of you, like you may have had feelings for this person or you may have kind of crushed on them or something like that. Like 
yeah, two of swords. It was never very clear about the connection that you guys had. Like there was no clarity surrounding the connection. Interesting. So wow, I'm definitely getting the impression that somebody's coming around here. I'm seeing someone possibly from like your hometown or someone who like you may have known when you were a kid. Yeah, there's someone from someone's hometown that's coming around. And for some of you, like you've never dated this person, like you've never been involved with them romantically. I don't even know if you've been involved with them in any way, shape, or form. It's one of those things that, like I was saying, it may have just been a crush. It may have been like an infatuation, like where you're like, wow, like somebody was like starstruck by someone. Maybe because they make a lot of money or because they have some kind of position of status. I'm seeing somebody who makes money like in the entertainment industry. Like they might be a comedian, they might be um, a YouTuber, they might be somebody who makes movies. I don't really know, but I'm definitely seeing someone who is in the in entertainment industry. And this is something that is possibly very attractive to the other person. So if this is you, maybe you have Leo in your chart or maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Um, I'm seeing where there is somebody here who possibly either finds that attractive about you or maybe you know somebody who's working in the entertainment industry and like you find this very attractive but yeah i'm seeing a really deep deep emotional bond i'm not sure like it's interesting cancer i feel as though a lot of you in the month of april and going into may like you're getting into a relationship for some of you Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, yeah, especially around the King of Cups. Like somebody here is getting committed in the month of April. And it might be with somebody from your past. I'm really not joking. I'm telling you guys, like, I know that there's a lot of you that don't want to hear about the past person, but then you say that. And then the past person rolls back around and then you jump back in with them. So I don't understand because I'm really getting that vibe that like some of you and I picked this up in Taurus's reading too, where there were so many people that were like, no, I don't want this person. I don't want anything to do with them, but they roll around and then all of a sudden that changes. So all I'm advising guys is just don't speak too soon. You really never know what's going to happen. But what I'm picking up is that there is a reconciliation afoot in the month of April, going into May. So just prepare yourself, just prepare yourself. I do feel as though some of you are on the fence. You're on the fence, but yeah, there's definitely somebody coming back around, for sure, for sure. And for some of you, like this is going to lead into a relationship. Someone here has been thinking about possibly coming through and doing what's hard. Like someone wants to do what's hard and maybe like write you a letter. Like I'm, I'm seeing where somebody might write you a letter um, or they might send you a text message, maybe a voice message or something like that as a way to release like things that they've had on their mind. Because I'm seeing someone who maybe writes a letter to their ex or even if it's not something that gets sent, it might be something that like you erase after you're done, you know, or like you throw it away or you burn it after you're done. But I'm, see I'm seeing where somebody here is like writing a letter as a way to release something. Clarify the past life relationship with the 10 of pentacles, please. I'm seeing where somebody here is very stressed about something like they're stressed about a new beginning like I'm really getting the impression that someone here possibly wants a new beginning with you but they don't exactly know how to initiate one
King of Wands. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing the energy of you connecting with somebody here. Yeah, some of you are going to be getting married very, very soon. You might be getting married in the month of October is what I'm picking up. Like some of you may have recently moved in with somebody and you might be getting married to them in the month of October. But I'm seeing where somebody here has a strong passion for someone else. Clarify the Four of Wands with the Ten of Wands and the Reconciliation. Thank you. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Two of Pentacles. So I think that this pertains to what I was picking up earlier about the individual who wants the reconciliation, but they're on the fence about it. You may like meet this person through dancing or something like that. Like somebody may go out and dance or go um, to a dance class or to a strip club. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I'm just seeing something involving dancing, possibly. And then this brings you back with somebody. Like they might ask you to go dancing or they might even just ask you to hang out at their house and have a dance party in their living room. You know what I mean? I'm seeing where somebody here likes to hang out at home. Like they're very much a homebody, so they might invite you over. Like this reconciliation almost get, it gives me the impression where somebody's gonna invite somebody over or they're gonna invite somebody to their house. And it's interesting because I don't, I think for some of you, like you may not be in communication with this person. It's more of just like in somebody's mind. Like somebody might be fantasizing about what a relationship with you would be like. You know what I mean? Because the reconciliation card versus the past life relationship, like one of them is physical while the other one, like if you could see these cards, um, like one of them is kind of etheric. Whereas like this card here is more like physical, like the people actually look physical. Whereas here they're more like etheric, like you notice how the drawing kind of fades out into nothingness, the drawing of the people. So this is giving me the impression that like somebody is very much in their mind, like thinking about this relationship a lot, like quite a bit with the 10 of wands. Like for some of you, this might be the only thing that dominates your mind. Like you might, this person might be the only thing you're thinking about. And you know what, it's because they're returning. Like for some of you, like you're thinking about this person so much because they're returning to you because you're connecting with one another. You know, you got this two of pentacles, so it's kind of giving the impression of like a push and pull. So it's like, if you're thinking about this person, Cancer, they're thinking about you. Because when you think about them, you push your thoughts that way, and then it causes them to think about you, and then it's just this like, you know, en endless infinity loop of thinking about one another. But I'm definitely seeing some of you are going to be releasing somebody from your past. There's going to be somebody who tries to come back and they're going to try to start some kind of new relationship with you. And for some of you, like you may end up going for it. There's going to be a handful of you that do. I'm going to be real with you. There's going to be a handful of you that do go through with it. Um, very push and pull energy. There's something so intense about this relationship. There's almost like a sense of like unpredictability to it. And I think that's what keeps you invested. Like for some of you with the two of pentacles and the king of wands. And like the unpredictability might be the only thing that kind of keeps this thing going. <laughs> Just being real. Um, because there is a lack of stability within the connection. Like whether it's because somebody, you know, has a lot of baggage or somebody is just too focused on their work or whatever, there is a lack of stability that keeps this connection from moving into something solid. 
Um, but there is this kind of like fun aspect to it that I think is what helps keep both parties involved. Because you have the Two of Pentacles with the King of Wands. It's like, I don't know, like it's just, it's very fun. Like this connection is very fun and it's very fun to invest your time into. So I think that's kind of why this person's coming back. Like they really enjoy just like having fun with you. But if you're looking for stability, this person ain't it. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Like some of you may be releasing this person because you're like, look, this person doesn't truly love me. They only have passion for me and they don't value my beliefs and they don't value my mental and they don't value my mind. So therefore, I'm going to move on because I'm seeking different, right? But let's look at the energy that binds the two people together. I mean, I see where you have options, Cancer. So even if you don't decide to pursue anything with this person, like I really feel as though you'll be fine. Like some of you have a heap of op options. Um, there may even be a heap of reconciliations that happen over the course of April because there's so many people that are interested in you from your past. There may be at least two reconciliations that you have with people from your past. Yeah, somebody's been waiting for the right moment. And you know what? That's so funny because that's exactly the energy that I picked up for Taurus also. I've really been getting very similar messages in those readings in the past couple readings that I've done. Um, so maybe some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart. Maybe you have Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with a Taurus. But I've been picking up a lot of reconciliation energy lately. I don't read cards that fall on the floor. Um, so it's been giving me this vibe that there's going to be a lot of past people coming back. Like it's not just going to be that one person that you're thinking about right now. It's going to be other people too. Like there's going to be a ton of reconciliation that happens this month for all the signs, not just for you guys. That's why I say like, don't bitch about the past people because they're going to come back for everyone. Like it's not just you, but you get to choose whether you move forward with this person or not. And I think some of you are going to make the hard decision um, possibly to maybe give this relationship a chance. It's going to be hard because I think some of you are really going to go back and forth in your mind, especially if you have earth in your chart. Um, I feel like there's going to be a part of you that wants to say, screw this. I'm going to go find something else. And then there's going to be a part of you that really wants to give it a chance. And to be completely honest with you, I think you're going to give it a chance. It's going to take a lot of strength. Because there may even be people in your family who go against this relationship or there may be people in your friend group who go against this relationship. But I think some of you are going to go against the grain. Like I'm really getting the impression of somebody who is going against what their family wants or what their family wishes. And they're following their own path, especially in the realms of love. Yeah, free yourself. So someone is doing something completely different. I'm almost getting the impression of somebody who may have had an arranged marriage or somebody who may have had plans to marry someone. And then all of a sudden they might meet somebody from their past or they may think of someone from their past. And they're like, no, I don't want to be with this current person anymore. Like, I want to do my own thing. I want to be with the other person. I'm, I'm even getting the impression. Interesting, 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 interesting. This is juicy cancer. Two people who are already in relationships. Like two people who are already connecting with someone else, but they long for one another. They long for one another. That's what I'm picking up. And it's interesting for some of you, this may be a same sex relationship. What is the energy that binds these two people together? Finances and career. Interesting. So there may be some kind of investment that someone makes. Once again, I was really getting the impression of someone who was in an arranged marriage or they were going to be getting married for financial purposes. You may be starting some kind of business venture with someone from your past. That's another thing that I'm picking up or some kind of career adventure or some kind of like um, something involving your finances is going to be a very um, 
prominent energy of what brings you and somebody together. So somebody may be investing in someone else. That's kind of what I'm picking up with the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Like someone may be investing in someone's business. Taking on the financial burden for someone else. Like that's kind of what I'm seeing. One last energy. What binds the two of these people together? Cancer and their person. Unrequited love. So I feel like right now the passion and the intensity has died down, possibly because of finances and career, especially for those of you who are maybe living with your person or for those of you who have like a connection with somebody that you've been with for a very long time. Um, but I feel like the passion and the intensity and the love has kind of worn down because somebody might be investing their time into their work. I'm really getting the vibe of like maybe in the past, someone didn't have time for relationships. Like someone here was very focused on money, maybe even obsessing over money, um, while the other person, maybe this was you, was very focused on having a relationship with this individual. So there was kind of a conflict of in interest here. You know what I mean? Where now... It seems as though somebody is possibly maybe at a better place financially where they can focus on two things at once. Um, so they're going to be giving it a shot is kind of what I'm picking up. So if this is not you connecting with someone from your past, I'm just seeing where some of you are going to be giving a go at love again because you have the energy to invest with the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Like you have the energy to invest into maybe another relationship um, or into just another person in general. But that is what I'm seeing here. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. But other than that, I'll see you later. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your month, Cancer. Bye-bye.